Hey, my name is Phil from agencyautomation.co and welcome to this Go Higher Level Contact Forms tutorial. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this particular tutorial is how you can actually create contact forms that you can use inside of your funnels, inside of your websites, and then I'm also gonna show you how you can analyze your data. Now, just before we get stuck into this tutorial, if you haven't yet got started with Go High Level, I have got a special offer for you. So down below is a link, and that link's gonna give you an exclusive 30-day free trial, which is uh, over double of what the normal 14-day trial is, and I also have a bonus course I'm gonna be giving you, teaching you how you can get set up with high level really quickly, how you can get free traffic from YouTube, how you can also make money as an affiliate, and finally, how you can create sales funnels. So all of that, once again, using the link in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is come across to one of the brands, either yours or your clients that you're building the contact forms for, and you wanna come down to sites on the left, and then finally, at the top, you wanna to come to forms, and click on builder then once you have arrived to the builder page you may see some funnels already here some some forms sorry but if not that's completely fine as well what we're going to do is come to the right and click on create new form now first of all you sort of want to understand the type of form you're creating these forms can be used for any type of input data for example if it is going to be a contact form on your website if it is going to be a form where someone puts their name and email to either get a lead magnet get access to something whatever it might be you just want to know exactly what the forms for at the beginning so we can name it appropriately and put in the right details so the first one I'm going to create is going to be a contact form for a website so what I want you to do is first of all come across to the right where you can see options and this is where we're going to name the form that we're creating it's important we do this so then when we actually go to embed or install the form we know exactly what form it is that we've created so I'm going to call this the website contact form okay now below that we have an option which says on submit so once someone actually puts in their information where are they going to be taken to next you can either change it from open url so if you are sending them to another thank you page if you've got one created or if you just want to send them a simple message you can enter message and for example we can say thank you we have received your message someone from our team will be in contact with you shortly okay something simple like that now below that we've got facebook pixel id we've also got uh, pixel events so if you're running ads this is what this uh, section is for but let's come back to fields and let's start building out this contact form so the first thing you want to know is what are you trying to get from these people what information so let's just say i wanted to first of all collect their full name so i'll come over to full name drop that in like so now we have it here Next thing I wanna know is their email address. Okay, so I'm gonna drop that in. And keeping in mind what your form is for is what you'd probably need to think about. Um, so for example, this is a contact form, so I wanna know, you know, what's their name, what's their email, what's their organization. Um, if I come down a little bit further, what's their website, things like this, so I can go and do a bit of research for when I reply to these people. And then since this is a contact form, sometimes people like to write a little message in there. But if you look on our list under standard, we don't really have um, anything that suggests of having a, a message in there. We have got text, but that's more of a heading than anything else. So we come to custom fields. If you go right down to the bottom, I've already created one here, but I'll create another one for you. Click on add custom field. So you can probably see it under my head there. So add custom field. And then you can see we've got these options. So we've got text, large text, numerical, and so forth. What you want to do is just choose text. And then we can decide what we want to call this. So we could just call it, say, message. Right? Placeholder can be your message or question or query or something like that. How can we help you? Things like that. And um, if we go and click save, um, I've already created one, so it's not going to work again. But once it's um, all done, that's what it's going to look like, right? So this is our form completed. Once that's done, on the bottom right, you can see we've got this little save, fo uh, save form button. And then above it, we've got this integrate form, which is either going to give us an embed link or a link itself. And if you click on that link, it's going to show you what the form looks like, which is this one here. And it all looks pretty good. So that's nice so what are we going to actually do with this now well i'll show you how you can quickly embed it on a website so i'll just open up the websites tab in another tab 
and I'll quickly show you how it can. So here is one of the websites for this demo account. What I'm going to do is just come across to uh, contact, click on the edit button like so. And there's a few ways you can actually install it to the website. You can either use the form element or you can embed it using HTML code. So I'm just going to quickly delete all of this stuff on the right. Um, we don't really need it for this particular tutorial. All right, so that looks good. And I'll also delete this guy here. And what I'm going to do is come to elements, add element, type in form, okay, and just drop this in like so. And then it's going to say select your form. And that's why we needed to make sure we named it appropriately. So click on website contact form. And now in a few seconds, you'll see our form has been added, right? Super easy and super quick to do. Now there's a few things you can do inside of here. If you're once again happy with the, um, after they fill out the form, it just says the message, that's fine. You also have an override here. For example, if you wanted the form to be embedded, but you didn't want the message to appear, instead you wanted to add a website URL redirect, you can also do that um, at the bottom here, but most of the time, just for a contact form, you will use the normal form builder. So go ahead, click on save, and now that has been finished. So every time that someone fills out the form, they're gonna get a new contact inside of your CRM, and it's gonna reference the page that they came from. So it's really nice. So let's have a quick look with the preview. There it is, looks quick, looks sharp. Happy as Larry with that, obviously you wanna customize it. This is just showing you how easy it is. Right, now that I have shown you how to create a simple contact form, what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and create another form for you for those people that like to create sales funnels and wanna generate some leads, creating a lead generation funnel. So what I'm gonna do is create a new form once again, and let me show you how I will do it. So first of all, at the top right, come to options. I'm gonna call this the lead gen funnel. It's just a demo, so I'll put demo here. And on submit, I'm just going to leave it once again. And there is always the uh, option to add in the open URL, the redirect, uh, when you actually embed the form on your website. So that's cool. Now, as it is a lead generation funnel, all we really want is their name and their email. So full name and email is going to be added here. Okay. Now, if I come across to options or styles, I should actually say to start with, we have here a few um, different options. So we can have inline form if you want to have it inline. And we also have show label. Now, I believe it looks a little bit cleaner when you don't have the label added. So I'm going to leave it off for this particular one. And then come to options, see if there's anything else we need. We're all good, so that's all I'm gonna do for this particular one, just a full name and email. In fact, I might even change it. I might change the field title to, uh, the placeholder to your name. And then I might even change the email also to your email address. Reason being, is it just looks a little bit more like so people can't get it wrong. So I'll save that once again. And then once that's saved, I will go back into funnels. Okay, I'll now go into funnels and I'll create a quick lead generation funnel for you just so you can see how it works. It's the same exact thing once again, except this time you're just gonna be using the funnel option that you created, the, the form option. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a new thing. For this particular example, I'm going to go to a funnel name and call this just a lead gen demo. Okay, and then click on create funnel. So I'll create one from scratch, okay. Now you'll see there's nothing inside of here, so I'm gonna create the first step. This is going to be the uh, free video training, right? And for this path, I'm just gonna put um, three free vid training, okay? And click create funnel step. And it's gonna create this first page. So what I'm gonna do is come inside here, click edit page, and I'm gonna make this just really simple so you know how it works. This isn't to create an entire funnel. I just wanna teach you about contact forms. So I'm gonna go full width. I'm then gonna click on rows, manage rows. I'm gonna put in two columns here. And then what I'm gonna do is come to elements, add an element. I'm gonna head in, uh, throw in a headline. I'm also gonna throw in some text, so paragraph. Um, I might actually do a subheading instead, just so it's a little bit bigger. Yep, just like that. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, drag that around, delete this bottom one. That, that looks a bit better. And then on the right, I'm gonna come inside here. Once again, come to form, drop in the form. And now what I'm gonna do is select a form. So this is gonna be lead gen funnel demo. So what you'll notice is once again, we've just got the two uh, 
fields, the name, the email address, it's got the custom placeholder text that I put inside of it, and it's also got this little submit button. So I might actually drag it below this particular one and add in an image on the right just to fill it up a bit more. So I'll just come here quickly just so it looks a little bit more appealing. Double click on this one. And then there we go. So now you might be wondering, hey, how can I customize this form a little bit? It looks a little bit weird. The button looks pretty ugly. So what I'm gonna do is just save it for now. Just save this draft. I'm gonna come back to forms like so. Here's the lead gen demo we did. And what I'm gonna do is drag in a button, okay? So I'm gonna drag in this button here. Here's the button. It's gonna be full width, right? And I'm gonna change the color. So the background currently is um, this one here, which is like a dark black. I'm going to type in one of my brand's colors like so, and then I might change a few bits of it, right? So the padding at the moment is quite small. So I'm going to make the button just a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit more punchy. Same thing with the text. I'm going to change what it says. I'm going to say, get, get access to the training. So that looks already 10 times better. So I'm gonna save that form. I'm gonna come back to the funnel builder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reload this page and see if we have um, the changes go live, which they probably should. Let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, so here is our, uh, here's our form. You can notice it's a little bit different. So that's pretty cool. And then once again, um, what I would do is redirection action. I would probably, as we're building a funnel, go to the next step inside of the funnel. It would only make sense. And then obviously you'd wanna come in and fill out all the information in there. So that's really how it works. The last little thing I'm gonna show you is if you were to embed it onto a different website. So come back to your form. At the bottom here, we've got integrate form. So what you wanna do is come ahead and click on that like so and then you'll get this little embed code here and just to show you how this works it's really easy and simple to use so copy that entire code or click that button there and then come to your funnel builder it doesn't matter if it's wordpress works it really doesn't matter um, come to elements add element and there should be one called html okay so this is going to be custom html and then click on that open the code editor and paste in that code click on yes save um, and then save the page Go have a look at the preview and then that form can be embedded on any website doesn't have to be go high level um, but it's going to be there as you can see like so so it's simple and easy right it's uh it's one of the faster builders to create you know it's um it's a really good platform go high level so hopefully this has helped that's how you create your forms just keep in mind forms are different to surveys surveys are multi-steps i'll create a video about that in the future so if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't even started with go high level i've got all of those bonuses plus that extended trial link for that is in the description but if you got value from it let me know by smashing the thumbs up button and typing in any comments if you've got any questions any tutorials you'd love to see i'm here to help out so that's it for me guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one